Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going over the 7 star for Alligator Ray that is running from now until midnight on the November 10th UTC. Um, this is the second last starter Pokemon, so we're going to be using this Komo'o build here. Obviously this shiny looks pretty sick. It is actually a build we used a little while ago, just a little updated. So you do want it to be level 100. It will be holding a Shell Bell with a Fighting Terror type. Um, yeah, as I said, obviously max level, and then it'll have Iron Defense, Breaking Swipe, Body Press, and Drain Punch. Breaking Swipe and Drain Punch are not necessary, though they are there for safety. Defense is higher, you want maxed out defense EVs and speed. Speed is because he will start to stack multiple moves against you if you do not have a speed boost. It is incredibly frustrating and a very easy way to go down, which is why I've been struggling with a couple of other builds I'm working on that I will put videos out. Your ability does not matter, I just want to confirm. And guys, I'm going to link a video here on how to get a guaranteed shiny Fluttermane or Dragapult in your game uh, as a kind of celebration for Halloween. So here we go guys, the speed dealer sunnies are on. We're going to just kind of open this one up pretty easily. You do not need an Intimidate user here, so this is why I've used a video without one. I have done a couple clears with Intimidate users and without, just to make sure that this build is stable for you guys. Obviously Intimidate is going to be more helpful, but without it you are fine. He will always open with his Sword Stance first, which is going to put his attack up two stages there. You're going to open up with an Iron Defense to match that. This is why you need the Speed Boost. Without this Speed Boost, you actually won't be able to get this first attack off. He'll hit you with the Ice Punch, which will take you pretty low already. Um, so obviously that's why you need that speed. Second Iron Defense there is going to put us at a plus four. He is also going to steal our Terra Orb Charge, which doesn't matter at all at this point because we have not started hitting. We're now going to be at a plus four. We do want to get to plus six before we start doing anything. He's going to hit us with that Ice Punch again. Pretty heavily relies on that. He does hit you with the fangs every now and then, um, but that is pretty easy. He won't use Crunch on you as this build, which is the other move he does have. There we go, we're at a plus six now. He's gonna hit us with an Ice Punch, as you see. It took us for about 40. Uh, nothing to worry about there. We're gonna hit him with a Body Press. Um, the Breaking Swipe is just there in case you need to lower his attack, but as you can see from this build, I get through it without it, because that Body Press is gonna heal us for huge amounts and do a solid amount of damage to him. Gonna hit us with Ice Punch again. It's gonna do generally 30 to 40 damage each time. Hit him with another Body Press. Huge chunk of health out for this one. This does start to get a little murky when he does go for the reset. As you'll see, you will need to use Cheers and things like that, but I'll show you throughout it. Obviously he's got that burn right now, which is helping us a little bit. Ice Punch, less damage there as well. And then he's gonna put his shield up and he's gonna reset your stats and his stats here. Um, which means you're going to need to get that Iron Defense off straight away because he does have Dragon Dance, which he will use. There we go. He's nullified on our side now. The ability doesn't matter, obviously, which is one benefit. Iron Defense straight away, again, outspeeding him because of that speed that we put into um, EV. <laughs> that really sounded like a drug reference then. <laughs> I ignore that one. Uh, Ice Punch there is going to take off a lot of health there. Um, as we slowly build that iron defense back up, this will get us to plus four again, which means we can start to use body press if we feel like it's getting too sketchy with our health. Um, that is kind of my recommendation: is slowly build this up, but also rely on cheers and on body press hits to be able to revive. A cheer does beat his attack straight away. A cheer goes straight away; it's an instant move. Uh, obviously, sometimes he can outspeed you here if you get unlucky. Ice punch there. Down to 34, obviously it's getting a little bit sketchy. This is where I would use a heal up just to make sure as it does take priority over everything else. It's gonna be able to put us back up to a closer amount. Very annoying though, I feel like the health cheers are very unpredictable. Sometimes you better max health, sometimes you go up plus 40. It's very annoying, um, but this is just to show you that you can tank this. Psychic Fangs does about the same as Ice Punch, nothing crazy. You do wanna hit a uh, Terra Iron Defense here for us. Um, just try basically the focus is trying to get your Terra up straight away. It's basically over. Once you can hit him with a few Terra um, body presses, the, he doesn't stand a chance in this fight, which is what you're going to want to do. This Komodo build has been super, super effective um, for us the last few weeks across these raids, which are really, really good. He's going to open up again there. Obviously, if you have an Intimidate user, especially if you get like a Tauros or something, you will absolutely shred this because his water attacks and ice attacks are going to kill Tauros real quick. Uh, and then obviously every time he comes back, he is going to lose more and more from Intimidate, which is fun. 
body press him again here and as you'll see we're safe as soon as this goes off huge amount of damage there you'll see us go back to nearly full health um, not too bad at all and now we'll be matching him move for move because of that speed boost earlier I had HP as his main EV uh, and for alligator got a four move run off against me and I went from full health to dead it completely ruined the run incredibly frustrating so make sure you're putting it into speed guys if you feel like you can get away with anything else let me know in the comments or if you have anything that can kind of help out make this build even better for everyone let us know I am working on an Azumarill build I've seen a fair few people getting through it but I want to be able to do it without an intimidate user which I'm not sure is possible yet just for you guys that don't have the DLC and don't have Kamo as an available Pokemon. Obviously guys, you can just go trade, wonder trade, and you're pretty likely to get these kind of things. There are codes as well, just search up Austin John's codes if you're looking for a specific thing. Hit him there with a body press, we are now about to take out the shield. He does occasionally hit with Earthquake at certain points, don't have to worry about that either. Um, here we go, body press again, he's going to break that shield, he's going to hit us with Psychic Fangs again, taking off about 60-ish damage, a little bit more effective than Ice Punch, which is fine, there we go, break that shield, this is a pretty easy raid as long as you can survive that kind of middle area where he resets your stats, that's going to be the toughest bit there, there we go, shield down, going to go for a body press again, you can use Breaking Swipe too if you're having trouble with his um, attack because it will lower his attack um, so you can go for that if you really want uh, but I don't think it's really necessary to clear this with a lot of harm with no intimidate users which is great I think the only thing he copped from this was a burn as well he didn't even get paralyzed or anything like that and then watch this horrific whiff that happens here uh, let, it, let me know what comment I mean what comment what let me know in the comments what ball you're going to use to catch him I really wanted to use a Great Ball, obviously, and I whiffed it, and I moved too quickly and clicked Ultra Ball, which is shameful. Um, but nice to get this one off, guys. Remember, he does drop Herba. I don't get lucky and get any this time, but he does drop a lot of good things, a lot of XP candies and stuff like that. The Prowligator is obviously a great Pokemon. Shiny Locked, which sucks, um, but still nice to get that marked Pokemon there. As I mentioned guys, we do have a few guides on how to get um, that Fluttermane Glitch Shiny. It basically force spawns in your game, or Dragapult if you're using Violet. But if you are using Scarlet, you can get the Fluttermane to celebrate Halloween. A lot of you guys have been watching that video and commenting lately. Um, if this video has been helpful guys, please leave us a like and comment and subscribe. We're so close to hitting a thousand subscribers and we really hope you guys are enjoying the content. So please let us know if you are. Good luck on your battle guys and we'll see you in the next one.